If a question asks you to reflect a shape in the x-axis or the y-axis, then the x-axis or the y-axis will be acting as the mirror line. So the first thing you want to do is just go over the x or y-axis and make it clear where your mirror line is. So let's look at example 1. So we've got a reflect shape A in the x-axis which is here. So let's just go over the x-axis and make it clear where we've reflected the shape. So this x-axis is our mirror line. So with all reflections count the distance of each corner to the mirror line and then it'll be the same distance on the other side of the mirror line. So let's start with this corner here. So this corner is one square away from the mirror line. So on the other side it will be one square away. This corner here is one, two, three squares away from the x-axis. So on the other side it will be one, two, three squares away. And our final corner up here is one, two, three, four, five. So that will be five away from the mirror line. One, two, three, four, five. So once you've plotted your new corners, just join those corners up neatly with a ruler. So let's move on to example 2. So this time we need to reflect shape B in the Y axis. So this is your Y axis going down here. So if we just make it clear where our mirror line is. So again, we've just got to count the distance of each corner to the mirror line and then it's going to be the same distance on the other side. So let's start with the easiest corner first. So this is 1, 2 squares to the y-axis. So it's 1, 2, 2 squares away from the y-axis. This one down here is 1, 2, 3 squares to the y-axis. So it's 3 squares away from the y-axis. Let's do this one next. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. And our final corner is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 squares to the y axis. So it'll be 6 squares away from the y axis. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So again, just get your ruler now and just join those points up neatly with the ruler.